Changeability through combined exercises and operations. On this deployment, we were proud to work with navies from Canada, Denmark, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, and Sweden. This was also an opportunity to deploy our most advanced first in class aircraft carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford demonstrating high-end naval capabilities and integrating NATO allies and partners into the forward carrier strike group. I am extremely proud of the hard work that went into preparing and executing this deployment. And I am even more proud of the forward sailors and the strike group team who are leading the charge on this first-in-class state-of-the-art aircraft carrier. Joining me at the podium this morning are Rear Admiral Craig Huffman, the commander of Carrier Strike Group 12, and Commander, excuse me, Captain Paul Lancelotta, the commanding officer of the Ford. They led their crew and strike group throughout this evolution. Uh, first off, I just want to say thank you all for being here with us and for the spectacular weather you brought today. Uh, I will say that uh, the entire strike group Extremely excited to be back home in Norfolk after completing the inaugural deployment of the Gerald R. Ford and the Gerald R. Ford Strike Group. Uh, this was a tremendous opportunity for us to take the Gerald R. Ford and all of those new technologies, incorporate them into a strike group setting, working with our cruisers and destroyers, and then also working with our allies and partners, holding those allies and partners seamlessly into the strike group concept as we operated throughout the Atlantic. I'll also highlight that it's extremely exciting to uh, complete this deployment uh, during the centennial of the uh, operations of the U.S. Naval Aircraft Carriers. Uh, 1922, U.S. Led Slangley operated out of Norfolk, uh, and so as we took Gerald R. Ford out for its first deployment in 2022, uh, it's a fitting culmination of taking the first in class ship and bringing it out uh, on its inaugural deployment. Last thing I'll highlight is uh, how proud I am of the sailors of the Gerald R. Ford Striker. Uh, throughout the entire evolution, their hard work, dedication, and professionalism enabled the successes that we enjoyed in the last several months. It's really exciting to see all the work that they did and the foundations that they laid that will give us the cornerstone of future operations of the Gerald R. Ford Striker. So again, thank you for the opportunity to uh, be here today. Joining us, and I will turn it over to Captain Paul Lanzalana. Uh, I'll only uh, add to Admiral Huffman's comments in terms 
terms of our uh, extreme happiness with the crew's performance on this first deployment, uh, how happy our families are, are, are to, to have us back home here right before the, the rest of the holidays. Uh, we've sailed all the way across the Atlantic and back, up and down the eastern seaboard. We've been lucky enough to celebrate with our first international port call uh, and our first overseas port call in Portsmouth, England. Uh, all of our sailors are back home safely. We're really happy about that. The Carrier Air Wing 8 and Destroyer Squadron 2 helped us in our mission of uh, bringing our allies and partners together, exercising together with NATO. Uh, really just had a fantastic time on the high seas of uh, bringing Ford technology to the forefront, showing uh, that these technologies are relevant, uh, that they work pretty darn well, uh, and, and just allowing us to learn more about how our systems work and how we're gonna continue to make them even better for John F. Kennedy, USS Enterprise, and USS Doris Miller once those ships are final, finally built.